Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In a previous blog post that I wrote a while back, I showed a workaround for how you can change the default search form widget icon in Elementor. Because currently, Elementor only gives you two options for the icons. And I realized that the blog post helped a lot of people. But one of my readers recently accurately pointed out that the method only works for the class 6 skin. And he wanted it to work for the minimal skin as well. So I decided to take a quick look at it and I came up with an improved solution which I'll be sharing with you in this video. But before we continue, I would like to just say this. Elementor, please, if you're listening, could you give us more flexibility in changing the icons however we like? Now I know that from a US perspective, we advise that we should stick with the magnifying glass, but we may want to have like a different unique style for our magnifying glass. Okay, now that I've gotten that off my chest, let's proceed. If you're just looking for a way to stop loading the font awesome icon scripts and the e icon scripts, then Elementor has you covered. All you have to do is, from your WordPress dashboard, simply head over to Elementor, Settings, Features, and then activate the Inline Font Icons feature. That will convert all the font awesome icons and the e icons to SVGs, which should show some improvement in the load time for your page. But if you want to completely change the icon from the custom SVG, then keep on watching. So here we are on our Elementor edit screen. The first thing we want to do is drag in our search form widget into the page. And as I explained in the beginning of the video, Elementor's options are limited. There are only two icons you can change to, either the magnifying glass or the right arrow, nothing else. But there's a workaround if you're using the classic skin, so which is under the type, change it from icon to text. When it's on text, then go over to where you have your icon saved mine is on the desktop, then edit it with notepad, copy all the content of the code, and then on your text, replace the search with the code of the SVG. Now that we have it there, let's just add in an area hidden attribute so screen readers can avoid mentioning it. So area hidden equal to true. And that's it. So if you're using just the classic skin, then this is the perfect method for you, but let's update it. If you're using any other method, which is the minimal or the full screen, then this method will not work for you because there's no option for the search button. The only way you can do this is by using JavaScript to change the icon. And I will link the JavaScript that I used in the description below, so you can check it out. Let's go and copy the code. We'll be using the HTML widget, but you can use your favorite code snippets plugin. I normally use WP code box, but you can use anyone you want, or you can even use your child theme if you like to use that. So let's just use an HTML widget, drop it onto the page, then paste the content of the HTML code. The final step is to add in our class name to the icon. So click on the icon under the advanced tab the CSS classes, add in the class name of DD search double hyphen SVG icon and then save it. At first you won't see any changes but all you have to do is refresh the page and then the changes will reflect. As you can see our icon now is on the page. Now we can make some modifications that we want like go back to the HTML code and then for the width we can change it to maybe one rem and give it the color of maybe red and you can do any other thing you want with the code you see this is for the full screen you can change the skin to the minimal or the classic uh, let's change the icon back to icon like i said it will not reflect unless you refresh the page for some reason i'm not sure why but when you refresh the page, then it gets loaded. So everything works as expected. And yeah, that's it. If you have any questions or comments or you have a better way we can do it, please leave it in the comment section below. I would like to hear your thoughts. And thank you for watching. Have a good day. See you in the next one.